The lion's mane jelly gets its name from its colorful tentacles that resemble a lion's mane. It can grow to an enormous size despite starting its life as an insignificant larva that feeds on plankton in cold ocean water. The largest individuals may grow to 9 feet wide at the bell, and its tentacles may stretch more than 100 feet in length. They are the largest of the sea jellies, also known as jellyfish, but there are some other species that are more dangerous to people. The bigger a lion's mane jelly grows, the more colorful it becomes. The bells range from yellow to orange to red, and older tentacles may be reddish, but for the most part, they are clear as translucent jelly. The larvae that survive the harsh winter months feed voraciously in the spring as warmer weather encourages plankton growth. As the jelly grows, it can add smaller jellies and small fish to its diet. The summer is the time for serious growth, and divers will find the largest lion main sea jellies in the autumn. The adults die in the winter, possibly because of rough seas and a reduced food supply. Lion's mane jellies do not descend below 60 feet, but a clever feeding method is to start near the surface and sink slowly down, allowing the tentacles to spread out in a wide net. The net is hard to see, so everything in range is easily engulfed. The tentacles are equipped with small stinging cells, otherwise known as nematocysts. The venom in these cells is enough to stun the victims, and then smaller tentacles guide the food into the jelly's mouth. A lion's mane jelly washed ashore is a common sight during low tide, but steer clear of those sticky tentacles. Their stinging cells, the nematocysts, can still fire when beached on land. Always wash your hands well after coming into contact with a lion's mane jelly, as the venom will sting if you accidentally rub your eyes or touch your lips.